All right. Time to resume. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to stick to trying a two island win. So what's going to be the easiest? Ooh, I've not seen that boss before. Doesn't even really look like any enemies. It kind of looks like a mech. Kind of looks like the uh, Rusting Hulk's science mech. Which is kind of an underwhelming mech. Not hugely happy about taking on a explosive scion. Everything else is pretty standard there though, right? Desert's generally easier than these islands, if I were to generalize. So what upgrades did we make? We made just a ton of damage on that guy. Which is probably worth it. I mean, that can get quite a lot of damage output there. And if he has adrenaline, we want kills with him. I guess I can always flip the uh, the pilot around, but I think having him with a bunch of movement is good, and a bunch of kills is good. Still just like plus one mech move over adrenaline, I feel. Just having the move without the need of getting a kill. But we'll see. God, this guy is good. Uh, hmm. There are two things I haven't seen there, but I don't like that boss. I don't even know if the new... Is that boss still just going to have the old Scions? Because I will say that the actual Scion here is easy, the regen one. I don't know what that Scion is. This could be pretty good, given that we just added a bunch of damage though, huh? We could probably do this. The only thing that might be good about the ice is I don't know what that flying Vec there is, but considering how awful the alpha version of that flying Vec is, you know, the standard Hornet or whatever, which is by far the Vec that damages me the most, it might be worth checking this guy out. I mean, the... Yeah... I could theoretically rush this Scion down with the amount of damage I have, I feel. I don't know, though. Let's just do this one. I think this is a pretty easy path to victory. And we can see what this Scion is to get knowledge for future times if I want to avoid it or do it. Defend the train on this map is tough. Conveyor belts can be alright. Map is okay. I like having the... Uh, you know, the whatever on this side. The water probably is not going to help us, given the positions here, but... These conveyors are not helping the cause. I would say these two conveyors here are actually pretty rough. Potentially. Um, I forget, they still work on flying units, right? I believe so. Let's see what the train map looks like. So it's just a... Ah, oh, man, the, the only thing that's rough here is, like, this grid here is in a horrible location. I do actually like the rest of the map, I think, but that grid is going to be... I mean, just imagine this scenario. One of them goes right up to it, attacks it. One of them goes right up to here. Like, they could they could easily stack three guys here, or or maybe turn two the trains here and just even having the two guys there or even just a guy here and a guy there that's I guess not too difficult to deal with honestly because we have that artillery unit uh, maybe the trains easy then so what does this guy do smoldering all other vec are protected from fire and leave fire on death that seems just fine that might be a good sign to target with the heat stinks like the new, like, like my new name from the Heat Stinks. Get it? Because they stink. Um, or the win rate sink. Because it sinks your win rate. No, I like the Heat Stink. Um, okay, what is that guy doing? He's just a charger, right? 
Got my favorite Vec here. Um, I feel like artillery over here is going to be good. Like, turn one, I can push guys down. And then I may even put them close to here. That way I can eventually transition to moving them down here to push things that way. This guy has how much? I wish it uh, showed me how much movement this guy has. Um, so this guy could go here. Grab this or grab me. Either way, I can throw him out. This guy. I just need to make sure I don't get grabbed with my artillery. So I could... So you can go... I need to put the artillery back at least one space, it looks like. This guy probably goes here and attacks either there or there. If I'm grabbed... We need this guy probably around here to... Science is going to be good no matter where we put him. He should probably be able to take this out, though. I mean, the artillery is probably going to be able to take these out. But what if they do something weird like this guy just starts here? And the other guy goes there. I probably want this guy close enough. Well, I'm going to still try to bait a guy into charging into the water. I think it's worth a shot. And I got a lot of movement on the science mech anyway. Ooh. That uh, throws a wrench in the artillery plan. Okay, at least that guy didn't move. I actually really don't have to take... Oh, I could just... Uh, that guy doesn't get thrown into the water very well. Okay, you do one damage. Okay, look, it worked though. That guy's absolutely taken care of. Um, this guy, I mean, they're... <laughs> they're definitely cooperating with me. Like, this guy's just gonna go ahead and hit this guy. Do, you know, three damage, move him out of the way. Perfect. Uh... I can go down here and grab the pod, I guess, and honestly do nothing with this guy, right? Because, uh... Hmm. I'd love to actually be able to shoot this Scion. If I were to just toss this guy over here, for now, but I do one better here, and then we go here. Oh my gosh! So beautiful. Just the, the best thing ever. And the artillery. You know what? You're unneeded this turn. Congrats on earning a rest. Although... Is there any way I could just... Kill this guy this turn? That's probably better than getting the pod, right? Like if I, for instance... Do... That... No, because then, then he'll get stuck there. So yeah, you're just better off doing nothing, right?
So that guy can get one shot. If I so desire. Probably the only good way to deal with this guy is the uh, science mech. And probably the best way to deal with him is to just shoot him with the artillery. Probably just move him into an okay position here. Do that. And uh, I don't think that damages him, but he's nearly dead, which is fine. How far can I throw this guy? I think that puts him in. Let's, let's try it. <laughs> Tell me that's not the most satisfying thing you've ever seen in your life. And I will call you a liar. Wow. He's like, well, I'm nearly dead. I guess I'll just run into the hole. Oh, my. Okay, so... That guy's just gonna run into the hole. Science guy can't reach this guy, so probably either the artillery or this is best there. Uh, problem with the artillery is... Damn. So who's this guy gonna fuck up? That's a question. Well, artillery could take care of this guy. Could also just... Eh, I think artillery is gonna be best equipped to kill this guy. So I could go there, shoot him, then I just gotta deal with these guys. Uh, I could go down here and just hit that guy and that's fine. And then we'll just toss that guy in. Seems reasonable, right? And uh, you can just stay there. No, no movement needed. Boom. Three pointers. Swish. Nothing but net. Boom. Add some acid to the hole. Wow. Did I say a uh, train was hard? Not with this group. Shit. Did I find a group better than the Frozen Titans? I may have. Protect the time pod. Oh, and we got a time pod? I forgot. Oh, Clancy. Or Abe. Yeah. Uh, Abe Clancy. Abe Samu, actually. Um... Mech gains armored. Right, he's the armor guy. And he has a mech move. Welcome to the team, dude. Uh, which one do you want to be on? Could be on him. That adrenaline is... It's alright. Honestly, I may not need Harold at this point. I'm not really using the uh, repair... I don't know. It's, it's useful. I should definitely replace one of these guys. I mean, this is just objectively better, right? Other than I'm not close to the level up. I mean, that's worth, I guess, something. But, uh, do I really need him to be armored? Well, he might as well, right? So we got a reactor to use here. I can make buildings immune. That has really never been an issue. Uh, I could give this guy more movement. That's definitely an option. I could give this guy more movement, which might be the best option. It also preps him to maybe just transition into a two damage if I don't want that. I can put this passive on anybody really too. Yeah, let's give him move. I can't t I can't even pinpoint who the best one here is. It it's probably not artillery, but I, he's really good. It's got to be between these two. The, these two are ridiculous. But yeah, the, the artillery is still plenty fine. Granted, I have poured a lot of upgrades into it. But still like vanilla 
it's still like a three shot. It pushes. It has actual artillery range. Give me that any day over the, na the napalm mech. Oh, disposal unit. That one's generally pretty easy. Yeah, that's that's just sort of happening, isn't it? We got to try to work our way to this, but that won't be a problem. Six or fewer enemies. I don't like that. I mean, these guys are just good at killing. There's a lot of enemies. Oh, we got a disposal unit, so that should make things easier. Um, so you have the movement to go. You're almost certainly going to kill a uh, go up the sides here, is my guess. Then, um, if that's the case, let's prepare for you going here slash try to troll you over here, and I'll just toss you in the water, buddy. And this guy... They're either going to target this or not. If they're going to target him, let's... Let's put him actually up there. To troll it out even more. And you can go here. I don't think there's any harm in that. Yeah, but we want them to either go here and aim there. Or go up here and aim there. These charge guys, I love them. They are so easy. Look at that. Okay, that one's not so easy. That one could just be a dis I mean, I got a really good disposal vector here, though. I, mean, I can just throw that guy in. Oh, there's just so much I can do here. I mean... I gotta destroy all the mountains, so you know a few a few need to go there, but if I can just do that right now. Why not? Um would I rather actually bomb these guys? Well I can't. Yeah, I can't, so probably just go here then. Trying to think, is there any good way I could move this guy in to that? Because this guy is the most annoying enemy on the map right now. I mean, I can just flip him. It's probably fine. Yeah, let's just dispose of these. And, uh... Why don't I just uh, go like this? And I can just go down here and finish that off. And then you can just get a nice little. Nice little toss. Boom. That is a lot of people spawning in. First things first. Take out some mountains. And, uh, should I block some of these? Maybe. Wait, I never put Abe on anybody. What the hell? I guess that's fine, because we'll just see what they look up into. I could have sworn I put Abe into somebody. I guess I didn't. I guess I never did decide who I was going to put him on. I thought I was going to put him on the, the Mech Prime. I guess I didn't. Oh, I know one way we can deal with this. some experience on the other three though, right? Don't know where to put this guy. I could put him here.
Maybe there. Okay, then he can go either way. Whatever's needed. This squad is just stupidly, stupidly good. Oh, my nemesis, I have a way to deal with you. You think I would just, you know, do something like that, but... I actually hate this guy so much that I think he deserves the best we can give him. And I know that you are technically not going to get experience, but that's fine. Poor Prime had nothing to do. I guess I should have got the kill with the Prime. That was probably pretty stupid not to. But hey, that's the beauty of this. Uh, I can be stupid. Yeah, I could have like literally leveled up right there. Well, that's just a good incentive for me to do this. That's what I wanted to do anyway. Uh, so we're trying to work our way over there. I don't actually think we can get there, huh? Oh, we can do that. We'll have an acid tank on our side. Now the toss mech here won't be as good. He might be best over here. Just toss this guy over there or something. Or try to troll this guy over here. It does shut him down though. Um, maybe that's fine. I, I, he's probably on this map the one we would most want to be shut down. We don't want anyone else to get webbed, though. He's the one that's webbable here. Let's just put you... Let's see, you can go any of these directions. Let's put you there. I'd like to troll them into fighting over here if they can. And we don't want that guy to get webbed, though. Yeah, let's not let him get webbed. Alright, that's fine. We simply move out of the way there. That guy's just scared, I guess. It gets webbed as expected. Okay. We have our first potentially rough turn here. Just at first glance, so... This guy is unfortunately immobilized, but like, I Damn. If I had one more movement here, if I just... See, this is why I would rather just have one movement than adrenaline. If I just had one movement here, I could move down here, even block that hit and survive, but more importantly, I could shoot these, then that dies, he's free to, you know, do whatever. He could even just... Uh, But since that is not in the cards, we gotta think of something else to do. So, probably the first thing that even makes sense is to go here and shoot some acid there. I could technically get this shot off if I 
use uh, Harold's repair to push him down there. And that might be the best play. I'm just trying to think. Um, I I don't know what I'm going to be able to do here. Like, there's not super good things to do. But if I do that, so you know, I move him there first. I move him here. I do the repair. And this guy's here. He can survive a one hit. He'll shoot here. This guy dies because of the bump that frees up the prime. This thing's down to through to two health. Uh, can't really put acid on anyone still, but I could. I could at least move this guy here, and I believe since that's a web, it's gonna kill him actually. So he's not gonna do it. This guy is in front, but this guy only does one, so it's not like he dies. And I think I'll just move the acid tank out of the way of everything at that point. So I think that's the play. I don't really see any any better play than that. So you'll shoot there. You will toss him there. At that attack order, right? Yeah. So you'll kill that. This survives. This hits you, but you don't get bumped, therefore you live. And you just need to move out of the way. Question is where? Probably here. We'd like to troll this charge guy into just charging down this lane. Yeah, this not getting an acid kill here does put us on kind of an acid timer. Not even sure if that's a real turn, but we'll say we'll say it is. Maybe Abe should go on this artillery. Seeing that turn, I'm like, I could just take this pilot out and put Abe on the artillery. It actually kind of makes sense. Um, so this guy doesn't... None of these guys have to get taken care of, but we do need to start killing some guys with acid. So let's think about how best to do that. Move him down here and shoot. I may want to start moving toward getting another plus damage on the science uh, vessel, if I can. So what is the order here? You attack first anyway. Then that guy might just kill him. So like, I could just shoot this guy with acid this turn. This guy's just chilling down here. Um, I can kill this guy with a bump, all right? If I just do that, and then I shoot it into my science vessel, that's like definitely a kill. So. It's not super great to have this fragile guy down here. And then we'll just give him acid. That way... Let's move him down a little bit so he can get into the fray. And draw targets. Yeah, let's move this guy over here. Let's limit how many people are coming in. Oh, so you can't actually... Uh, either way, let's let's do that, and then he'll go down there, and then you'll kill that with the acid. Why did he heal? I didn't think I had that thing active. He must have gained a skill or something. Uh, so I could like get this guy into acid. 
This guy's finally attacking. But, uh... Uh, yeah, who do I want to kill here? I mean... need to kill two more with acid. I need to figure out... Yeah, that's, that's not good. Okay, we've used our reset. This is why I can't rush through turns, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, get the acid going like this. So, like, I can get you into acid. Just gonna make sure you don't lose that acid. And then I can just kill this guy here. Probably do that with this guy. Should move this guy down then. Um, we'll just kill that guy normally. You can go down here get that kill. And that guy will go up there. He can be killed with acid next turn. And then we have an acid pool here that we can hopefully use to finish somebody else off with. Actually, we don't even need to. We, we can just kill two with acid this turn, and that's fine. So, like... This guy can kill there. Mm, not really. This guy could. And that guy could just get killed by this. This guy we don't care about. This guy we do care about. But he only does one damage. I can block it. So... Actually, I could just throw this guy into the, the thing there. I also have armor. Alright, kill them, and then you can just... I can actually just not even worry about this guy. Um, and... Just do that. Perfect. That's something to keep in mind. I didn't, haven't factored in too much that them just attacking areas is going to break the chasm. Nice. Acid Storm Controller. I don't think that uh, we've seen this before. Block Vex spawning three times. That could be an issue if I'm already on acid. But might as well go for this, right? And destroy the acid storm controller. Well, I could just destroy that and then that's taken care of, right? Though I suppose I don't want to if everything's on acid. Uh, where are you most useful? So this guy's probably just not going to do anything. We want to protect the lab for sure, so let's make sure nobody can get a weird angle in there. That guy there is fine, and this guy here is fine. He should be able to move here and kill that if he needs to. This 
so destroy acid storm controller seems like this vec just wants to do that for us that's the storm generator They really just mismatch the name like that. Acid Storm Generator. It says Destroy Acid Storm Controller. I assume that they, they just had an oversight there. I don't know. It's weird. Um, so, don't need to take care of. Do need to take care of. Don't need to take care of do need to take care of don't really need to take care of so kill probably push because we can't kill and maybe help that guy along there I don't know Trying to think the best way to take care of that guy is probably just this guy. I don't think anybody else takes care of him well. So like this guy should get killed by the artillery. We gotta kill people so that Vec actually spawn in as well. That's another thing to maybe think about. And Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have a great turn no matter what. He can't even really hit this, so that was like a definite oversight on my part. Uh, well, yeah, this thing will kill it in one hit, so it's not like I need to hit it. Um, but yeah, this guy really has nothing to do. Might be nice to upgrade his damage, huh? So I'd want this guy to, to charge on through. And I guess we'll just stay over here with him. Unless I think I can go over there. Like, I could go over here and kill this guy. But then there's, like, nobody in this vicinity. Like, this guy's not that much of a threat, I feel. Might even be helpful for us to have him around. Let's just go here and... Guard this. Why do I still have acid on me? I repaired it off. Maybe it just persists until it's destroyed, I guess. I thought it would like it bring it in each turn or something. Um so this guy needs to be taken care of. This guy unfortunately does. This guy unfortunately does. This guy unfortunately does. So we definitely need to get a two for one here. So how are we going to do that? Uh, too bad this guy... Six. Okay, we can, we can do this. So what we need to do... Uh, probably need to just go here, kill that guy. I might be fucked though, because I, I gotta get... I had to move this guy to here. Which I'm not convinced that I can do. I guess I could do it with this guy, but yeah, and then this guy could finish that guy off. Alright, well we'll see. Uh, I got a reset turn still available. Oh, uh, how are we going to get our Vex spawns blocked, though? Damn, we're going to lose out on a lot by not getting that. Oh, well, I don't think... I don't think it's worth taking grid damage over. So we do that. And then I'll try to get into the vicinity of being able to uh, you know, do this here. You should attack first, so we're good there. So... We gotta get really lucky to be able to do the Vivek uh, spawning. 
really needed to go there. Th I don't know on an unfair mode. Is that even possible to block spec the block the uh, vex three times? I guess it is though. I can take. I could probably sacrifice one grid here because I can definitely deal with this. Like I can put him. I could actually put you there, because this guy we don't care about. Put you here. I don't know if I kill that guy, I'm looking at a grid damage anyway. I guess I could still take care of this guy though, huh? And then I can move with that guy. So I can kill that guy. I'm in a block where I can block. Uh, this guy, though, is an issue. <laughs> like, that's very unfortunate. Um, if I were to move him out, does that guy end up grappling to the edge? to think about something different I think like maybe fuck this guy this has actually turned out to be horrible um, so I could go here no okay this works so we're just going to take a grid here so I just do this and I just go down here. Oh, you know what? Could technically do that. Still doesn't really help us, does it? Probably makes some sense, though. If that's the case, we have a better turn we can do here. So, this guy kills that. This guy... No, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's like, I keep forgetting this guy's gonna end up pushing that guy in. So really, I didn't improve my position at all. And we do this, we just do the same thing. Wait, is there already a chasm here? If there's already a chasm here, we actually do still want to throw this guy, though. Because we want the blocks to happen. So yeah, we'll take a damage, it's fine. This is not that big of a deal. use my reset though which sucks but I think it's fine because I think if I didn't reset I was gonna just kill that thing which obviously wouldn't be good uh, so you are max those two are max level his damage up. Oh well, we lost a grid. I don't know how we could not. And that's fine. We got it all done. I think to be able to block all three there was pretty, pretty legit. We'll be right back.
right, scion boss time, right? No, crab leader. Crab leader. So we have a reactor to use. I could remove a move to get more damage, which for boss fights is typically good. This Void Shocker is interesting as well. So what was... what did this guy get? Technician? Oh. Let's just switch them out. That's better. And he could level up in this fight and get... Hopefully something better than Technician and Adrenaline. So Frenzied Repair, re Reactor... I could still argue maybe putting Abe on this guy, but if it's all Alphas, it doesn't matter. 2 HP is 2 HP, and it's probably going to die whether he has the armor or not. Uh... I could also argue, though, that Abe could get a lot more kills on this guy. It's worth considering. Do I really want to remove movement here? I could also just add movement here. What does the uh, thing look like? Do I need building immune? I have really not needed it thus far. I can't even think of a single turn where having building not be... It's like if they're there in the vicinity, I would be pushing them into the building anyway. I feel like building immune is pretty pretty non-impactful here. Maybe in the final um, island it's worth it. I could definitely just give this guy movement. The only shitty thing is like that reactor could probably be better spent over here, but I'll have, you know, I'll gain enough repetition that I have three to go around. I, it might go there. I don't know. The plus two damage for two seems better than plus one for three. And this guy's already super useful. I mean, they're all very useful. Uh, let's just give this guy m another move, maybe. All right. I think that'll be useful. This map is potentially concerning. Not like we have a choice, though. So, this guy just lobs, right? Launch artillery tech that also damages every tile in the path. That could be brutal. Uh, we'd love to just... You know, it... Uh, and at the same time, adding the damage to... Uh, the science mech increases my amount of turns that I can make chasms, and chasms have... I haven't even done, like, boss into chasm yet, but that just seems like a busted combo. Um, Alright, we don't want to get webbed. I know that much, so... We could consider not dropping in at, like, these points. This guy's really unfortunately placed to be to be quite honest he's he's quite brutally placed um, there's not a lot of good there we could go here even if I put the artillery here I'm in range to get fucking wrecked He'll go in here, grab me, but I feel like it's unlikely. Like, he has two grids in between me and him. Is he really going to go all the way up there and grab me? I don't know the nuances of the AI in this game to know if there's any anything there. Because this guy really does want to be over here, you know, shooting down these lines. I guess I could argue just put him up here. He, we do have a problem though. If this guy comes right in there, he can't do anything. But maybe that's fine. I'm just there to like shoot that guy into the acid, which would be nice. Um, 
If I really need to deal with him, I'd probably just put the science mech here because he's got a lot of movement. We wouldn't want to put him there. If he gets webbed like from here, that would be horrible. I would like have to, yeah. Uh, I suppose starting him here is not too bad though, because that could incentivize the guy to run right into the acid, which would not be a bad thing. And he's in position to do quite a lot from here, so I think that's fine. I did not see that one coming. Okay, this is like not at all what I predicted would happen. It's hard to predict everything, right? So this guy, uh, it would be best if I just deal with him with the science vec. Science mech even. This guy doesn't need to be dealt with. This guy does need to get dealt with. Well, I could, uh, he has acid on him. I could just live with two grid hits and have him die. And I could just take replenish grid with my reward, maybe, instead of taking whatever comes up. Because I could, I could push both of these down and that, that definitely, like, kind of takes care of that. Uh, I could also just... I mean, there's not much... To, I could also just... Go here. Whack him to go the other way. And then I still am able to do this, right? So he still, like, kills that. I don't take any grid damage, and I can just toss this guy here. And he runs into the the green slime. Although, I could just toss him into the slime here, right? And block. I'll take that instead. Well, that's a turn. And now we'll find out. I don't think he'll go there without a mountain in front of him. Yeah, he won't. Ho <laughs> ho. Goodbye. I could just take you out with the science mech. I could toss you in the water. This guy's three health, so I just kill him with the uh, dude. This is pretty easy. Might as well move him up a little bit. Go ahead and block that. Oh shit. Oh, he's flying. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I think blocking... Okay, no, it doesn't break the crack. So nice of him to just sort of go into the acid for us. I think, though, I want to get some experience on Abe. Might as well take out an elite. Um... You're not cracked. Oh, so cracking the stuff twice doesn't break it. Interesting. Good to know, I suppose. Oh, you're the only one. Uh, these are... These are not cracked, so why don't we just prevent one of these from coming in. So, who needs experience, Abe? I can give you that.
Here, have a tap. That was a very easy boss fight. <laughs> this squad is cracked. You could nerf every mech in this squad and it would still be better probably than uh, Heat Stinkers. That's good. I'll take it. Uh, so we could just fill up with one grid defense. Like, if we are going... Lily Reed, I've already, I think I've already unlocked her, right? Shield Projector... Could be good for that final battle. I don't know who I'd put it on. Probably the science? Even then, it doesn't make sense. I'm not even necessarily at a good breakpoint here to just take something and sell it. I'm kind of leaning toward the grid defense. I mean, the percent I could care less about. I'm just thinking I take a free grid and get a... I don't know, there's a 2% chance, because I could just take these, sell them, and buy a grid defense just the same. It's probably better for me to just... Actually, it is a good breakpoint. I could just take one because I have that other item that I probably am not going to use. So we could take this and just sell it. So I can get up to 12 here unless these are good. Mercury Fist, I don't like it because it's only one use. Um, Firestorm Generator, so that's one of those where... Uh, well, that's the Napalm Dudes stuff. God, imagine buying that on any other unit. I mean, look at this shit. Why would I ever want that? And it costs two? It should, it should be like a minus two. Fuck. All Vec take plus one damage from bumps and blocking emerging Vex. That one's pretty good. But again, it costs power. I don't think I'd take it. I'm just going to take these. And I could just fill that up, but I could sell two of these. I could also sell a uh, thing to get that. So, yeah, we, 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 we'll sell all of the above, I think. And then I'll just sell you to get that last grid defense. So now I can... Four to go around. Um, I could I could switch these actually. Yeah, let's switch these. Then I can justify this. Um, I already have a move and a reactor, so I can put three there. It would be nice. To get this guy health, but he has armor. I'm just gonna, gonna hope that that's enough. I think he can just stay out of the fray. So I can put one in here, keep my move. I have the still additional move. Get that plus damage, which will make him a beast now. And then, as if this guy wasn't a beast already, he'll just have additional damage. I think we're ready. We're ready for the uh, the finale here. We'll find out if unfair mode is really hard at the end. I, I will say it hasn't. Island like Island One seems significantly harder in unfair, but like Island Two doesn't. But this is a really good group, so I don't know. I mean, this does look hard. I don't love these enemies. Um, seems like I'm getting this boss a lot. All right. Well, we got to think about what we want to troll out here. Um, I don't want to get grabbed by this guy, so these slots are off limits. The rest is fair game, so why don't we put... This guy can have good position to toss them in the water from around here. I generally like my artillery floating around here. I'm guessing there's a grid there. This guy... 
It might be good to have one around here, and this guy has so much movement that, that he'll probably be fine. Okay, those are not too bad of positions. I've definitely seen worse. Like, these are actually really good positions, I would say. Now, this doesn't kill the boss, unfortunately, but I still might be inclined to put him in the water there. The lava, I should say. But we've got a hell of an opening turn. Basically, everybody has to get dealt with other than this guy. So that's shitty. This guy, I guess, is the lowest priority because he only does one damage. But definitely, like, that guy... That guy, that guy, that guy, all need to get dealt with. So, as far as guys I can deal with two at a time. Immediately I don't see any. Let's see if the attack order opens anything up. Not really. This is a very brutal start. The shitty thing is, like, I, if you if I can't tell where the grids are coming down, there's not a whole lot I can do to prepare for bullshit like this, you know? Like, this is just a turn where I'm taking damage. There's there's no way about it. I, I don't really see any whole world where I don't. So what's the best scenario here? I mean, we could just leave this guy. He will naturally push this guy out. But that doesn't really change anything. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Oh, I'll, I'll give her another one soon. Yeah. I think it's just hot. Okay. Yeah. Does flipping anyone around change anything? Like I could like two for one with. Not really. Like they're just in all. Like I, I said, they're in good positions, but this is just actually one of the worst first things I've ever had to to, to deal with. As I, as I kind of look at this. Um, too many of the enemies just lob shit or shoot shit and don't push shit like that. I can't really do much displacement here. Um, this is the only guy, in fact, that does actually push stuff. Everybody else is just damage. So the enemy comp is the main problem here, and the positioning certainly doesn't help at all. Well, let's start to think, uh, can the repair from Harold do anything? Because that is an area that I can potentially move people around with. Like, if I, I could put him here, but I'd have to somehow get these rocks out of the way, these enemies out of the way. There's, there's quite a lot there. Um... Why do they have to have 5 health? Well, what if I open up some crevices? Can I get a kill? Open up a crevice? Maybe just body this boss? Live with some grid damage? I mean, I could definitely kill that guy right off the bat, but those crevices aren't in good locations. I, I could put this guy, so where's his target? I, I could put him down here. Do that. I suppose that actually is a two for one, isn't it? Because this guy is targeting that. That is a two for one, so we have a two for one. Now we just gotta deal with that, and that, and that. 
but we can just not deal with that, I suppose. It's too bad this guy doesn't have like one more range, because I could I could flip him to kill that. Uh, the order is not even right, so that doesn't even work. So what what's the best? I, I think we know where the artillery is going. This guy can't even really deal with that, so I think we have to just toss him in the water. I mean, tossing this guy in the water seems to make sense. you'll just go here and that's the best turn we can do we can think about creating some crevasses soon at least we got the guy in fire get some damage over time only one guy spawning in helps the unfortunate thing is I only was able to body one guy, so it's not like I actually improved my situation that much, except luckily... Well, never mind. I was going to say... Okay, we're, we are somewhat fortunate. This guy we don't have to take care of. This guy... Uh, we'll just probably push him back in with... Let's see, so this guy... What's the best, what's the best play here? Um, I can just toss this guy into the, the lava. I guess the artillery could just take the both of them out. So I toss that guy. Artillery goes there. I just can... I mean, we definitely gotta kill that guy. This guy is just having his fucking way, though. It's annoying fuck. This is why I hate this enemy. At least it's not the alpha version that can just, like, one-shot these, but... I don't know. It is definitely annoying. And he goes first, too, so it's not like I can like have this guy or this guy f get displaced and finish him off. Let's think if there's anything else we can do. Can I make use of these things at all? I know that... I mean, if I toss this guy... Yeah, um, if I toss this guy into the water, can I, let's make sure I have that range. Yeah, I could toss him into the, the lava. This guy could come... How much move do I have? Five, so one, two, three, four, five. Damn it. What was I going to do here? <laughs> I had a plan here to use the push. So wait, I toss you in. What was my fucking plan here gonna be? One, two, three, four, five. This guy would still k kill me if I shot my artillery here. Because he does a double shot. The plan was I was going to shoot the artillery into that guy, but somehow I was going to use the science mech by 
Something about throwing this into here is going to allow my science neck to come down here and function up. But, uh, I'm not really seeing that. Yeah, I still think we have to take one here. So like unless I'm just missing something, I, I don't I don't see I don't see a line here. So we're gonna shoot here. That guy suicides. I'm gonna toss this guy into the lava. Take a hit, but whatever. And this guy, after that shoots, I'll come down and just push that guy into the lava. Because hitting him doesn't really make sense. Yeah. It's not a good turn, but... not in a great spot here. This is kind of brutal. I'm glad I have this squad for this. I can't imagine some of the other squads would have a rough time with this. A rougher time, I should say. Still waiting for the day, even if it's a low amount of grid defense, I'm still waiting for the day that I actually get a defense to drop. That won't kill a flying unit. Oh, uh, that's not good. This guy just devastated me. Again, there's just nothing I can do against this motherfucker. He just has his way. is a pretty shitty turn still. I unfortunately have every single one of them fucking attacking the uh, grids as per usual. This is uh, admittedly one where the grid defense or the the, uh, the like non-grid shot would make for a good Turn. I mean, I'd still take one damage here. It actually wouldn't even make that good of a turn. What am I saying? Yeah, it's like I'd still bump him into the grid. That's why it like just doesn't make sense. Um, so what are we going to do here? I mean, this represents to every single one of these, especially that one has to get taken care of. So that's like primary primary here that we get that fucking taken care of. Um, this guy's about... Hmm. Well, let's see order here. This guy going first still fucks me, because it's like, there's a, there's a world where I just shoot this guy over, right? And then I move him here, do the push. That would actually kill that guy, because he's at one pip. Then this guy gets over here, Except this guy attacks first, so it kills that, and then this guy just shoots up into there. Like, this guy is the bane of my fucking existence. The guy who's not an alpha has by far just been the goddamn misery of this fucking... ...of this fucking one. Uh, and I can't... I don't have, like, a good toss here. This 
this is just a goddamn unfortunate fucking turn. But I could just kill this guy. I should. He's fucking everything up. And, uh... Yeah. It won't even create a crevice, but the, uh... The fire will kill him. I'm gonna be close to dead after this fucking turn. So I kill that guy with that. And I guess I should just let these go. I'll go down to two for the final one and take care of this guy. Um, if I can do it in a way that I also block that, then good. I mean, this guy really can't do anything this turn other than kill this guy. That is very unfortunate. Unless I can do that. That would free him up to make that move. This guy doesn't die. I don't know. I feel like I just need to kill this guy so he stops wrapping up my guys. But also, killing him just doesn't matter because, like, this thing is getting redundantly taken care of by these Vex. Like, if there was a way that maybe I just kill that guy and that guy, I would save more grid here. I could save three. Well, I'd have to take that guy out, so like... I could do... the repair... on this guy. And then... I guess... There's just no... <laughs> there's no way I can do this. I should have maybe looked into a utility secondary on some of these. Yeah, I think we just live with those dying. There's not much I can do here. Just kill that. And kill the most annoying fuckers, I guess. Like... I'd love to kill this motherfucker. Like, holy shit, but I love to fucking kill him. I should just kill him. Um, because he is... I can probably prevent these guys from doing shit, but this guy just does whatever he wants. He fucks everything up and I cannot stop it. So I should just kill him. But yeah, we're gonna lose three grid. I ever told you how this is my most hated wreck in the game? Oh, well, unless if we if we if we don't get like horrible RNG like we got here, I think we'll be able to get through the next fight. I still feel like we got a strong squad. If there's a squad to do it on two health, it's this squad. All right, we just need to fucking kill this guy. Um, preferably with Abe, I guess. Uh, it's not really anyone that can... that. Shoot that. Alright, we will really focus um, on this next one. Cause that was fucked.
Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking guys. I know one of them will die here. I feel like they could allow us to skip this dialogue, you know? Alright, that guy's not too bad of a, uh, uh, boss. The bomb guy's fucking annoying, though. At least there's another charger. That's good. This guy's not so bad compared to the, the double shoot. I'm also having a very low amount of them actually at, uh, targeting the, the grid, which is good. There's still a lot of them. And let's not get too ahead of ourselves. There's still a lot of them. It still sucks. It's a good attack order. Anything we can do here? The well, first thing I notice is either artillery or herald could double whammy them. One of those is somebody I don't really have to take care of. Um, like, I gotta take care of him, I gotta take care of him, I gotta take care of him, bare minimum. I don't see any world where I can, like, two for one any of those, so, like, our turn doesn't have a whole lot of leeway, I suppose. Guess it depends on who I want to body here. So like I'll take that damage probably for sure. We're not, we're we're definitely not, actually not we're we're just not getting many favors. Usually these guys aren't going to be bad, but they happen to go they walk right up to the fucking thing and go right into it, which is obviously fucking horrible. Well. I think artillery is going to be who has to take care of that. Boy, sure would be nice though if it, uh, so, so does flipping anybody massively change anything here? Just opening any, I can open a crevice here, can't really open a crevice. With all of these alphas targeting my grids, I don't have time to actually just get a kill with this guy. So they target this. Do I want to stick this guy down here? I feel like I don't. Then he has to move. But he has quite a lot of movement. It might work. Because uh, I could toss him in the water. I don't know though. I, I, I really like this. If I'm going to do that, I might as well do this move. Um, here. Because then I could get two of them dead. The only problem is I don't think this guy can do anything to him, which leaves... I think the only way to deal with this guy is to use... God. This is a fucking nightmare. Like, I actually have to die to do that. Turn one. This is actually unwinnable, I think. Wow. Well, I'm not going to blame the squad. Uh, I'm going to blame the ridiculous fucking RNG of the, both these fights. I mean, that's just fucked. It could have been hard mode. It could have been any squad. Even the fucking Frozen Titans can't deal with this shit. Uh, but I could blame maybe what I poured my upgrades into. It really didn't matter giving this guy damage, I guess. I, I didn't realize... This is, my, I guess, my first time going this far are going to the two island on unfair, so I didn't realize it was going to be like this. And actually, extra damage here, even extra damage here was completely useless. Uh, I should have just picked up some sort of utility. We didn't really get offered much utility in all honesty. By utility, I mean like things that just move the units around. 
it was a lot of single use bullshit that wasn't that good, but I should have just t taken it. Hard to know though. Uh, now I know. So next time I run into the situation, but yeah, it, it doesn't look like we can win from here. I don't really see how I'm I'm gonna be able to win. Like literally, literally, how can I, how can I beat that? Um, like I have to basically go down here, die, just to not even kill that guy, but just to move him out of the way. And I toss that guy in the water, and then I move like here and shoot that guy in, and then I have like I have another guy coming in. I've dealt with hardly anybody. I mean, I'll do it. That's the only thing I can do here. Like, I, I can't do anything with the fucking artillery here to even do anything to this guy. So... This is literally the only fucking thing I can do. Just insane RNG on this shit. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well just toss him down here. I'll get this in there. Yeah, I just have to uh, deal with this motherfucker. We need the god RNG for four turns in a row now. Judging by how this shit went, I'm gonna say probably not. I don't think we're gonna make the deck pay for that sacrifice, if I'm being honest. If my calculations are correct, we are definitely not gonna make the deck pay. Fucking Scion comes in. Literally everyone targets grid. Not a fucking one of them targets fucking <laughs> a mech. Yeah, yeah, there's there's no way. So it's it's I don't know. I need like my six uh, even as six percent, like maybe once, maybe one second proc, but not like fifty fucking times. So Jesus motherfucking Christ, dude. That is just fucking ridiculous. Well, note to self, um, this fucking fight on Unfair is ridiculous. They they really scaled it up. I don't know if it's just bad RNG or if... Because, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem like they threw necessarily that much more at you. This just was awful fucking RNG, I feel, but... Definitely, I'm gonna remember to overcompensate on this fight. Holy shit, like, look at this shit. This guy doesn't even, like, come in at an area I can even grab him at. Like, even if I somehow had this guy survived, I'm just fucked this turn. <laughs> what an absolutely fucked fight. I still like this squad for what it's worth, but... Yeah, it ain't worth much. And fucking shit goes like this. Alright, whatever. Let's put ourselves out of our misery. Let's, let's do it on our own terms, eh? Not one good defense ever. I have not hit a good defense in advanced mode yet. <laughs> Fucking game. Well, we lost fucking Harold, which also sucks. But, uh... You gained Technician, really? I might just take this guy. Yeah, whatever. I'll take him. Damn it, the technician is so fucking stupid. Well, oh, I, all in all, I like this group. Did I really, like, get none of their stuff? Crack 10 tiles on a mission. Drop 10 enemies into pits. These trade 20 mods in one game. Uh... I mean, these look like ones I can definitely do if I go for like a three or four island. Just ramp them up. 
But yeah, I'll be on the lookout for extra utility. It kind of caught me by surprise because I, I was literally crushing the entire game without any issue. And then just... Their, their move set became a little less good um, for the actual volcano fight. I need... I need... Yeah. I guess I can do a two island of course there, but I need some sort of extra utility. And, and also, like, upgrading those damages would be good for the normal islands. They're useless for that fight. If, with everyone being alpha... And 100% of everything just needing to be, like, multi-unit movement. Uh, the upgrading of those damages did literally nothing for me. So, use it as a learning opportunity, right? I'll come back to that. Well, I, I have to come back to them, I guess. I don't have... I, I, earned, I earned no coins, so... We'll, we'll try it again. Maybe I'll... If I, if I feel like I can't take the volcano on, we'll go for a three or four island. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to use Abe either. Um, I don't really see him making sense here. I still like Harold because he basically provides a little extra utility. On reset, no. Gaining boosted on kill could be pretty good on that science mech. That's what I'll do next time. I feel like, especially if I want to get these coins, like having that drill mech be an absolute beast probably makes sense. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.